Good Tuesday morning. You're going to be seeing that a lot today as today is indeed a first alert weather day for the potential of well, we'll talk about in a second, but first you can see we do have some snow showers in the foothills and in the blues. Some of this trying to get down into the tri cities, but snow levels around a thousand feet for this morning. And this is just uh, this is the little appetizer. We'll talk about the entree in just a second. Right now, temperatures in the thirties were around freezing in both Yakima and Ellensburg. So that might be good reason to break out the ice scraper for this morning. All of us want to bundle up. Thankfully, the winds aren't doing too much for right now, but it is, as they say, the calm before the storm. So here's the bottom line for the forecast. A winter storm for today and tomorrow. We have another storm system in a Thursday and Friday. And guess what? A follow up storm system after that in a Saturday and Sunday. So let's talk about this first alert weather day or days for today and tomorrow in place for the Cascades, for the Blue Mountains and for the Blue Foothills. We can have blizzard conditions in the Cascades, damaging winds in the Blue Foothills and in the Blue Mountains. And I'd say the wind gusts probably the biggest threat from this storm system, but I certainly would not want to go over those Cascade passes. And to speak to that point, we have a blizzard warning in place. We have winter storm warnings in place, high wind warnings, wind advisories. So I'll talk about all that coming up on Good Morning Northwest, which starts right now. Straight ahead on Good Morning Northwest, new details in the case of a man who was shot dead at the Uptown Shopping Center. We have what police are revealing at this time. And the Washington State Courts website is finally back online, this after a two week shutdown from unauthorized activity. Emily Goodell with that report. Plus, Boeing announcing it's made its first round of layoffs in the state. How many more employees are expected to lay off is just ahead. Good Morning Northwest starts right now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good Morning Northwest on your side. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica Jalal. It is Tuesday, November 19th. Happy Tuesday. We are going to start off in a crime follow up this morning. The Richland Police Department is investigating after a man was shot and killed in an alley in the Uptown Shopping Center. Saturday around 4.15 a.m., RPD says a person called dispatch saying his friend was shot. Officers arrived to find the man with uh, multiple gunshot wounds. 36 year old Michael Perkins died at the scene. So far, RPD has not made any arrests in the case. Right now, the Street Crimes Unit and Criminal Investigations Team are working on reviewing video surveillance and contacting witnesses. On occasion, we do re respond to that area for calls of violence. As you know, there are multiple bars that are in that area. And so around closing time and even before that, sometimes altercations um, pop up and we have had different types of calls involving weapons in that area over the past few years. RPD says people were gathered in the alley when Perkins became involved in a confrontation with another man. The suspect shot and killed Perkins before fleeing. RPD has confirmed that Perkins was known to frequent the Uptown Shopping Center and police believe this to be an isolated incident, but the suspect is believed to be armed. Contact RPD if you know anything. Now everyone is OK after a car crashes into a fence and the side of a house in Pasco. The crash happened at the intersection of Road 44 and West Marie Street just before 3 p.m. yesterday. Authorities believe speed was the biggest factor behind the crash. Nobody was hurt. The driver walked away and no one was home at the time of the crash. But homeowners say they were surprised when they got the call and came home to check on things. We went into our master bathroom so the mirror's knocked off. The countertop is off. Everything is part of the bedroom wall is damaged. It's, it's bad and I'm supposed to have surgery. It's not known at this time if the driver is facing any charges or was cited, but we'll keep you updated on what we find out. The Bend County Sheriff's Office welcomed its first electronic storage device detection canine in the region yesterday. BCSO said Blaze, the agency's new canine, was paid for by donations to the Benton County Sheriff Foundation. Blaze will be used during internet crimes against children investigations to help find hidden electronic storage devices such as thumb drives. Blaze was sworn in and has already been fitted with her official canine vest. Going in depth now, the Washington State Courts website is back online following t a two week long shutdown due to unauthorized activity discovered on its network on November 4th. But Apple Valley News Now's Emily Goodell tells us they're still getting things back to normal. 
One of the biggest impacts, lack of access to the state's e-filing system, which has left attorneys having to go old school. If you've got a new case and you need to file that case, you're going to walk over to the courthouse like lawyers used to do. You're going to put that paper in front of a clerk and you're going to file that, uh, that case. And, and that, for some lawyers, newer lawyers, that was a throwback to something that they thought had, was in a bygone error. It, it, it's not the case. <laughs> Attorney Bill Pickett says the outage was an inconvenience, but working on the civil side, they're used to a long, slow process. I think the bigger impact was where you have much tighter timelines in the criminal arena. Um, those folks had to deal with a lot more of the difficulty, certainly than the civil side. The outage also a pain for Washington State Patrol, which couldn't access critical information used to perform firearms background checks, receiving about 700 requests a day. Now, WSP says they've processed over 6,500 of the backlogged requests and will be working to get fully caught up this week. Yakima Municipal Court has been operating with limited services and only essential court functions for two weeks. With the system back up, they're restoring services and will resume taking payments again Tuesday. There's little information available about what the unauthorized activity in the state court system entailed. But state court administrators say it's been eliminated and no ransomware or data breach has been detected. They say users can expect disruptions as they continue to bring up the system. Meanwhile, the Blake Refund Bureau, after Appellate Court Document Portal and e-filing for Appellate Courts will be offline until the network is stable. Pickett says this is a good reminder for attorneys to always be prepared. While it's very convenient and it's very good and efficient to have those computers and to have online databases and online systems for filing, um, we never want to forget there's also a fallback that in the old days we did it um, maybe not as efficiently or as quickly but we can still get it done. State court administrators say they'll be releasing more information after the state's Judicial Information System Committee meeting in December. Reporting from the Yakima Newsroom, Emily Goodell, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Emily. And coming up next on Good Morning Northwest, Boeing has laid off over 2,000 workers in the state and they're expected to make more cuts in the coming weeks. We have the details on what happens next for these workers. The first Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert will have your first alert weather forecast. Keep it here. Good morning, Northwest. We'll be right back. Hey, babe, what's a five-letter word that starts with PH and ends with N-E? James, have you tried the four free phone flakes? Dad, Dad, four free phones. Four free phones? Thanks. Choose four free phones and four lines for $90 a month. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. If Tommy Kells pays me to do the in-home, I guess nursing or the things I do to help out so we don't need a nurse. Meds, cooking, cleaning, getting him to doctor's appointments, picking up prescriptions, whatever else needs to be done. So at least once a month or whenever I need her, Sarah or whatever nurse is available comes to our house if I have a worry that I'm not sure if he needs to go to the doctor, she comes and advises me and does an assessment and tells me if there's anything I need to do different or I don't know that I could do this without him. So we'll definitely evaluate their past employment. As a registered nurse myself, I'll look through their medical records and I'll look to see maybe what medical conditions they have and we'll be very upfront with them, honest about whether they do have a claim that could warrant benefits or not. I think the stove is broken. How are we gonna get that replaced before the holidays? <laughs> Swing into Fred's Appliance today for our Black Friday Super Sale and discover unbeatable deals on the largest selection of in-stock, get-it-today inventory in our region. We have the largest selection of Bosch induction ranges to choose from on sale now for Black Friday. Plus, when you buy one today, receive a free induction cookware set to go along with your new induction range. At Fred's, we sell appliances, only appliances. The holiday season is in full swing at Shelby's Floral. We invite you to celebrate the harvest of Thanksgiving and the joys of Christmas. Step into a wondrous world filled with autumn's rich colors and the magic of the holiday season. Discover beautiful holiday decor, seasonal centerpieces, and gifts that capture the spirit of giving. Be inspired for the beautiful holiday season around every corner. Come feel the joy at Shelby's Floral in our new location on Clearwater in Kennewick.
U.S. Cellular has the incredible new iPhone 16 Pro. The first iPhone built for Apple intelligence. Spread the word. And don't forget camera control. It'll blow you away. Get the new iPhone 16 Pro on us. No trade-in needed. U.S. Cellular, built for us. This newscast, sponsored by Mariano Morales Law. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest on this first alert weather day. Yeah, we have a lot of alerts and advisories in place. We have this blizzard warning that's in place from 4 p.m. on Tuesday to 10 in the morning on Wednesday. It's going to be the same time frame for the winter storm warning and for the winter weather advisory. The blizzard warning is for the eastern slopes of the Cascades above 2,000 feet. The winter storm warning is below 2,000 feet. And then the winter weather advisory, again, would just be for the Kittitas Valley. And as if that's not enough, we also have high wind warnings and wind advisories in place in place for the same time frame. The high wind warning would span the foothills of the Blue Mountains from Walla Walla County to Morrow County. And this wind advisory would be on the Oregon side of the lower Columbia Basin. Let's uh, let's do a little bit of whip around coverage with our passes right now. Pack snow at US 2 at Stevens Pass. Traction tires advised. Then at Snoqualmie Pass on the Interstate 90 at Slushy. Traction tires also advised. Then for White Pass, it is also slushy. This, I mean, it doesn't look fantastic, but it definitely looks better as opposed to this weekend. But these conditions will slide downhill, and even right now, traction tires still required. And there are some icy spots for Blue Mountain passes. Here's your day planner for today by eight this morning could have some snow showers in the Kittitas Valley, probably just rain showers for the basin and foothills by lunchtime. Things up into the 30s and 40s and then by 4 p.m. This is likely when we'll see the arrival of the big blast of rain and snow that we're anticipating. So for today, it's going to be seasonal. It's going to be cold. It's going to be breezy slash windy winds gusting out of the south and southeast between 25 to 55 miles per hour. The fastest wind gust during the day being in the Cascades. And then for tonight, the winds will shift out of the south and southwest. And at this point, the strongest wind gust will also be in excess of 50 miles per hour. But this time in the blue foothills and the blue mountains. Lots to cover in that extended forecast that's going to be coming up in a few minutes. Thank you, Josh. In Washington, Boeing says it has laid off 2,199 workers in the state so far. And that's according to a notice filed with Washington's Employment Security Department yesterday. The company also says job cuts will eventually total about 17,000 across the company. It announced back in October that it planned to cut about 10% of its workforce in the coming months as it struggles to recover from financial troubles and the machinist strike that lasted nearly two months. WorkSource will be reaching out to employees to ease the transition. Affected workers will stay on Boeing's payroll until January 17th, and another round of job cuts is expected in December. The average annual pay of Boeing machinists is currently $75,000. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, President-elect Donald Trump has made another selection for his cabinet. We tell you who he's announced as secretary to the Department of Transportation. That's coming up in your political news. Welcome to the Walla Walla Airport, where you'll experience enhanced convenience. Your gateway to adventure has expanded its security checkpoint and upgraded the departure area for your comfort. With free parking and daily Alaska Airline flights to Seattle, your travel plans are easier than ever. Whether you're off to relax or to explore, start your journey smoothly with our improved facilities. Create unforgettable memories today. Book now at alaskaair.com. Your next adventure is just a flight away at Walla Walla Regional Airport, where parking is always free. This holiday season, Pingree Ford is making room for 2025. So come on down for amazing prices on our brand new, in-stock 2024 inventory. Ford F-150s, Pingree's got them. Explorers, you bet. Even Broncos and Super Duties. And this November and December, Pingree Ford is giving back with Toys for Tots and Coats for Kids. Stop in by December 9th with unwrapped toys and new or gently used coats to spread some holiday cheer. Come see us today and feel the power of Pingree. He has been called the greatest stage magician of the past century. And now this legendary entertainer is coming to your town live and in person. And he's bringing his friends for an evening of magic, comedy, juggling, audience interaction and surprises. Don't miss Lance Burton and Friends Live. Get your tickets now for Lance Burton, Master Magician and Friends. It's fun for the whole family. 
At the Pacific Clinic, we understand the juggle of parenthood. That's why the PC is your one-stop shop for all your health, sports, and medical needs. Schedule your appointments around your favorite group fitness classes and use our on-site child care services. From women's health to care for your little ones, we practice a comprehensive approach to keep your family feeling great. With our quick and convenient scheduling, we'll get you in within the same week, often the next day. Call us today at 509-783-5465. The Snake River in the Palouse. Just to be out here on water every day. Fly the Northwest over the ladies of WSU crew. It's a beautiful place. It doesn't always cooperate, but we learn how to keep rowing no matter what. Apple Valley News now at 6 tonight. Next live, Ted Danson. Plus, Camilla Luddington from Grey's Anatomy. Men are often too proud to see a doctor about their physical problems. That's not me. Today at 9 on Apple Valley News Now. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Today at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest on this first alert weather day. It looks like the showers are starting to clear out of the basin, so it's mainly just in the Blue Foothills and, and Blue Mountains at this point. Snow levels around 1,000 feet for this morning. They'll be raising up to 1,500 feet by the time we see this, the arrival of this next big blast of rain and snow. And this will impact us, bring us some very big impacts, obviously, about things rocking and rolling by midnight. And then into Wednesday, you can see this is going to be pretty continuous, a little bit more more dry air starting to get into the mix, but pretty continuous stuff. And uh, the snow levels will be higher at this point. We'll talk about that in a second. But first, let's talk about the wind gusts. This is probably going to be one of the biggest impacts from this storm system, gusting upwards of 60 miles per hour in the Cascades, 60 miles per hour in the Blues, 65 miles per hour in the Blue Mountains. And you combine the winds with some of the snow we'll see up in the Cascades, and we could quite literally have blizzard conditions up that way. Okay, in terms of the, the just pure water we're going to get from this storm system, an inch for the Cascades, between a half an inch, excuse me, between a quarter to three quarters of an inch for the valleys, and between a tenth to a quarter of an inch for the basin and for the foothills and the mountains. A little bit later in the show, we'll talk about what that's going to mean for our seasonal rainfall deficits, and now we're running some surpluses. Snow levels, again, at a thousand feet for this morning. Can't rule out some flakes flying in Yakima, Walla Walla, Pindle, Pendleton, but then up around 1,500 feet by the time we see the arrival of the atmospheric river, and then the snow levels will be doubling up into Wednesday as they'll be around 3,000 to 4,000 feet. Let's talk about some of the snowfall totals we're expecting over the next 48 hours. I'm thinking for Stevens Pass and for Snoqualmie Pass, 6 to 12 inches. For Sadus Pass and Blewett Pass, 4 to 8 inches. For White Pass, 12 to 18 inches. Probably less than an inch for the Kittitas Valley. That's a pretty conservative estimate, though. 1 to 2 inches for Manistash Ridge. Less than an inch for the Yakima Valley. Less than an inch for Meacham and Cabbage Hill. And probably 2 to 3 inches for Tollgate off of Oregon 204. We have another storm system to deal with on Thursday and Friday. This one is also looking like it's going to be a pretty wet one, but the cold air isn't going to sink up as well with this one, so we're not expecting as much snow. And then we're expecting more storm systems after the fact. Another one in a Saturday and Sunday, so this is just the pattern that we're going to be stuck in. But honestly, pretty seasonal stuff. Here's the seven day forecast for the Tri-Cities. Lots of cold rain over the next week and it looks like the wettest days will be Thursday and Friday. In Yakima, maybe some snow mixing in this morning, but accumulation should be less than an inch. In Ellensburg, snow this morning and afternoon transitions to rain by this evening. Maybe another chance for snow next Monday. In Hermiston, cool and damp for the foreseeable future. Likely the wettest days will be Thursday and Friday. Then for Walla Walla, damaging winds will be the main concern today and tomorrow. Then more wet and cold weather is on the way. Thank you, Josh. Now in political news this morning, President-elect Donald Trump says he plans to nominate Sean Duffy as his transportation secretary. Duffy is a former congressman from Wisconsin. He served in the House of Representatives from 2011 to 2019. A year later, Duffy joined Fox News as a contributor and recently was a co-host on a Fox business show. When he was in Congress, he was a member of the House Financial Services Committee, and Trump says Duffy played a key role in shaping and strengthening economic policies. He also says Duffy will use his congressional relationship to help maintain and rebuild the country's infrastructure. 
Other items include, or from his resume, includes time as a pro lumberjack athlete, ESPN color commentator, and he was a cast member on MTV's Real World series in the 1990s. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, Diddy's lawyers are calling out federal prosecutors for their, quote, outrageous behavior after the music mogul's personal notes were taken. Notes that suggest he's trying to influence witnesses in his case. We have more details after the break. Poor maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853-2222. Ever feel like something's missing? Like there's a hole in your morning routine? Well, we've got just the thing. At Some Bagels, we make more than fresh bagels. We make a variety of baked goods to fill your day with everything you've been missing. Have your favorite coffee drink with our in-house roasted espresso beans. And enjoy your bagel with our flavored cream cheeses. Because at Some Bagels, the only thing better than the hole in the middle is everything around it. I want some, you want some, we want some, gimme some bagels. It's Mattress Depot USA's November sales event. Meaning no money down and no interest for up to three years on our best-selling mattresses. Like a queen plush Sealy mattress for just $3.99. Or an adjustable bed for just $9.99. Or a king-size memory foam mattress for just $7.99. Visit our showrooms or shop online at mattressdepotusa.com. But hurry, our November sales event ends soon. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Indulge in Legends Casino's seafood buffet experience. Discover a feast of premium crab legs, succulent shrimp, and an array of delectable ocean-inspired dishes. Elevate your evenings with Legends Seafood Buffet every Thursday and Saturday starting at 4 p.m. Who's ready to heal with love? I'm gonna sue you. Your lawyers know where to find me. Prosser Memorial Health reminds you. Watch Grey's Anatomy Thursdays. Prosser Memorial Health. This is how we care. Hi, I'm Scott McGilvery. I know what bath remodels should cost because I've done hundreds of them. I use Bath Fitter in my investment properties because I know it'll be worth every penny and then some. After 40 years and over 2 million baths, they're accountable for everything from design to manufacturing to installation, all backed by a lifetime warranty. If you want a bath remodel you can trust with your money, it just fits. Bath Fitter. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Maintenance, old tires, bad brakes, that could be why the big truck hit you. Hit by a big truck? I know how to be their insurance companies. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853-2222. Fly the Northwest with the ladies of WSU crew tonight at 6. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. In entertainment news, lawyers for Sean Diddy Combs are calling out what they consider outrageous conduct by federal prosecutors. Combs attorneys wrote a letter to the judge about a recent sweep of the jail where the former music mogul's personal notes were obtained. Prosecutors disclosed the notes were obtained during a nationwide pre-planned sweep of federal prisons. Prosecutors say the notes suggest Combs is attempting to influence witnesses ahead of his trial. His lawyers say the notes include attorney-client material about defense witnesses and strategy. They believe the search violated his constitutional rights and they are requesting the judge hold an evidentiary hearing. Combs is due in court on Friday as his lawyers try for the third time to get him released on bond. He has pleaded not guilty to federal charges of sex trafficking, racketeering and transportation to engage in prostitution. In more entertainment news, acting duo Jonathan Majors and Megan Good announced their engagement over the weekend at the same annual event where they met two years ago. 43-year-old Good says they met in the unisex bathroom at the Ebony Power 100 Gala in L.A. in 2022. The engagement marks a high note for majors. They met in the bathroom? Okay, <laughs> well, we're going to have to circle back to that in a second. But earlier this year, he was sentenced to a 52-week mandatory in-person domestic violence prevention program. That was after he was convicted of assault and harassment of his former girlfriend during a domestic dispute. Good and Hollywood producer Devin Franklin divorced in 2021 after nine years of marriage. You don't think you can meet someone in the bathroom, Josh? 
No. I meet girls all the time in the bathroom because, you know, that's where, you know, girls are always, like, excited. Sure. You know, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. we all go in pairs and then, I don't know. But it was a, it was a unisex bathroom. Yeah, I don't know about that. I get we that need right. more details on that. Yeah. <laughs> this is, you know, like when people meet on Hinge and they just come up with stories as to where they actually oh. met. This is one of those instances where I just say, like, yeah, we met on Hinge. Oh, yeah, exactly. That's what they should be doing. <laughs> We're coming up next on Good Morning Northwest at 630. A family in Finley had to spend the night in a hotel after a fire broke out at their home last night. What firefighters are saying the reason could be and what they're reminding the public about, that's in the next half hour. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you got to go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at A&W, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just 5 bucks. This all-time great deal is available Tuesdays only at A&W. Prosser Memorial Health orthopedic surgeon and sports medicine specialist, Dr. Tegan Goodell, is now caring for patients at Prosser Orthopedic Center. Dr. Goodell brings his expertise in sports injuries and advanced arthroscopic procedures to the community, offering comprehensive care to athletes and active individuals throughout the region. To schedule an appointment with Dr. Goodell, call Prosser Orthopedic Center at 509-786-5599 or learn more at prosserhealth.org. This is how we care. The savings continue with Bymart's latest savings book, including bonus zone savings on Element Smart TVs, Prime Antifreeze Coolant, and Stovetop Stuffing. Bymart, saving our members more every day. Hit by a big truck? It could be from bad air hoses in the brake system. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, and at my law firm, we have a special team that knows how trucks work and what goes wrong. We know how to prove it was a truck's fault. Big truck insurance companies know that we have the experience and knowledge it takes to get you paid everything you deserve. Hit by a big truck, our team knows truck wrecks and how to win for you. I'm attorney Mariana Morales, the big truck heavy hitter. Call 853-2222. There is a place where magic seems to hide around every corner, where cherished memories are born in twinkling snowflakes, where enchanting adventures await all who explore. Where is this real-life winter wonderland? Nestled by the lake is Coeur d'Alene's holiday light show. Be the first to see our all-new grand floating Christmas tree with holiday getaways starting at only $246. Light up the holidays and the road at Overturf Kia. Call the whole crew comfortably in a new 2025 Kia Carnival LXS. Starting at $40,160, find eight passenger seating, advanced driver assistance systems, heated seats, and more. Plus, get 5.99% interest for 72 months. Overturf Kia at the base of the Blue Bridge in Kennewick. Life can be hard. With Culligan, your water doesn't have to be. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Today at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. This is Apple Valley News Now. Good morning, Northwest. On your side. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us for Good Morning Northwest. I'm Jessica DeLal. And I'm Josh Colbert. All right, Josh. It is freezing out there. Yep. I have my blanket. No one knows that, no one can see it, but I was with my heater in the newsroom, and I want to bring it in here because it's freezing. And, and this, yeah, and I got and my this, fur going on. Yeah, this still yeah. It's, it's just too cold. Too. So is yeah. it getting any better or worse? No, it's going to get worse. Yeah. Yeah. And the wind gusts are going to crank up as well, so that's going to make it feel even colder out mm. there. So I'm sorry, I don't have any good news for you that's for this okay. morning. I'll just take my blanket But the rain there. and the snow is good. We need it. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at temperatures for right now. And yeah, you would want to bundle up as you're headed out the front doors. We're around freezing, if not right at freezing in the Kittitas and Yakima Valleys. 
We're a little bit warmer than that in the lower valley and we're in the upper 30s in the basin, also in the foothills. But again, all of us would want to bundle up for this morning. Look at this. The wind gusts starting to crank up just a little bit more now gusting out of the south and southeast upwards of 20 miles per hour in Walla Walla, 15 miles per hour in Sunnyside. This is only going to continue into the rest of the day. Right now we're just seeing these light snow showers in the Blue Mountains. Snow levels around 10,000 feet for right now. They'll be raising up to 1,500 feet a little bit later in the day. I want to circle back to this, this blizzard warning that we have in place for the for the eastern slopes of the Cascades in elevations above 2,000 feet. This goes from 4 p.m. on Tuesday to 10 in the morning on Wednesday. Here's some of the possible impacts per the National Weather Service in Pendleton, but visibility is less than a quarter of a mile due to blowing snow. Whiteout conditions expected, treacherous travel, and it's very rare that they say this, but potentially life-threatening. So if you're going to hit those passes for today, well, first and foremost, don't if you don't have to, but if you absolutely must travel in the Cascades, please be careful pack that winter safety kit and if you get trapped stay in your vehicle because again these are potentially life-threatening conditions on a zone by zone look at today's forecast also I'll talk about some good things the surplus that we're running with water and snow and that's going to be coming up in a few minutes Thank you, Josh, for all those important tips. Now, new this morning, a Finley family <coughs> spent the night in a hotel after a suspected electrical fire breaks out at their home. The Bend County Fire District 1 Public Information Officer Jenna Roberts says crews responded to the fire at East 59th Avenue just before 7.30 last night. When firefighters got to the scene, they found the homeowner trying to put out the fire from the roof. Fire crews took over and got the fire out within a few minutes, and Robert says the power to the home had to be shut off. She also says an electrician will need to come in and make sure the wiring is safe. Although there is water damage inside the home and a small section of the roof is damaged, Robert says it was minimal. Fire officials do want to remind people to never go back inside of a burning building. Always wait for first responders to arrive. Now, as we wrap up 2024 in less than two months and start to plan for the new year, one local city is still figuring out what to do with its budget plan going into the new year. But as Apple Valley News Now's Monique Ledesma says, some of the budget issues won't carry over. In August this year, the city of Sunnyside discovered they were in a $4 million deficit. City manager Mike Gonzalez says the city has been shipping away at that amount and now going into 2025, they've cut that amount by more than half. So... What I've done up to my tenure is basically we stop spending and, and we're really trying to save as much as we possibly can. So uh, by the end of the year, basically the rollover of what we call the beginning fund balance should be anywhere between a half million to 800,000. Gonzalez says when it comes to getting the city back on track, it's not just about cutting assets. That's kind of how we got in this problem, you know, with selling assets. And because the problem with selling assets, that it's really a one time. Uh, revenue. So you have to be really choosy when you have these one time revenues that come in. Gonzalez says they're at the drawing board trying to plan for a better future and have come up with a couple of options. Some of those options include possibly freezing new police officer positions within the Sunnyside Police Department or taking some internal cuts within the city. But Gonzalez says other options up for consideration is closing down some city facilities temporarily. Perhaps we close the community center, which is something obviously we don't want to do, uh, but we may have to. Uh, the other thing we're looking at is do we close the pool? Because what people don't realize is it can cost anywhere from four hundred to five hundred thousand dollars a year to run the pool, and we don't really make much money at all off that. I think I saw uh, we made maybe like eighty thousand dollars in total uh, to run a half million dollar pool. So that that's that's definitely not a money making machine, but we know it's a community asset that's important to people. It does mean things will be tight for the city of Sunnyside for a bit. So our goal uh, for 25 is just to save, 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 tighten our belt. So by 2026, we do have a fund balance and we're able to support all these endeavors. But right now, I, I think because of some of the practices in the past, we find ourselves here. Nothing is set in stone yet. Gonzalez says they want to hear from the public before they make a final decision, which will be December 9th. Reporting in Sunnyside, Monique Ledesma, Apple Valley News Now. Thank you, Monique. And Gonzalez says people can go to the next city council meeting to give their input on the budget during public comment. And that next meeting is on the 25th of this month, which is next Monday at 6 p.m. 
Now, in environment news, if you live in the lower Yakima Valley, empowering Latina leadership and action wants to hear from you about your environmental concerns. Ella will be holding three listening sessions this week in Mabton, Sunnyside, and Grandview. And this is to talk about issues like the health effects of air contamination from wildfires, as well as nitrates and groundwater contamination. Organizers say it's a chance to let people know what resources are available to them and get a better grasp on what resources may still be needed based on community members' questions. We really wanted it to be an opportunity for the community to share um, their experiences, you know, their stories, especially if they lived in the Lower Yakima for many years. The listening sessions will also include Spanish and English interpretation, as well as dinner, free childcare, and raffle prizes. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, Apple Valley News Now is your home to the Seattle Kraken, and they were doing so well until they weren't. With a breakdown on the game of the week, that's after the break. Fly the Northwest with the ladies of WSU crew tonight at 6. It's Mattress Depot USA's no member sales event. Meaning no money down and no interest for up to three years on our best-selling mattresses. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Bath Fitter showers have got people talking. Our wide selection of showers means it's exactly what we wanted. Seamless and watertight walls are much easier to clean than tiles and grout. And they stay in excellent shape. Every bath fitter shower is backed by a lifetime warranty. And with thousands of five-star reviews, the experience exceeds expectations. It's no wonder millions of bath fitter customers love their new shower. It just fits. Go to bathfitter.com to book your free consultation. Why do patients and families immediately think of Good Shepherd? They trust our knowledge and expertise. They value the compassionate care we provide. They feel like they are being taken care of by family. From our renowned doctors and top-of-the-line technology to our state-of-the-art facilities, Good Shepherd Healthcare System, patients first, always. Growing up, I watched my mom serve our community by helping others through our church. I watched my dad, a workers' comp attorney, help people get benefits when they were injured at work. I'm Bryant Sutton, an attorney at Bothwell & Hamill, a law firm that exclusively helps people win workers' comp and social security disability. Let us go to work to get you benefits. Call 509-584-4411, Bothwell & Hamill. Delin's Boutique is a lifestyle boutique that offers locally sourced and established brand items. We feature men's and women's styles with a fresh approach to your look. Delin's Boutique brings style that is approachable yet unique so you can look and feel your best no matter what room you are walking into. Our house brand, Life on the Water, is locally inspired, designed, and printed in Kennewick, Washington. Delin's is located in the Marineland Plaza in Kennewick next to the Village Bistro. You can also shop easily online at delins.com. Let a Mattress Depot USA sleep specialist put you on the mattress that matches your sleeping habits. Stop by today. You'll sleep better tonight. Low prices every day. Mattress Depot USA. Election night 2024 may be over. Donald Trump will be the 47th president of the United States. As the transition of power moves forward, stay with ABC News and Apple Valley News Now for the coverage you trust. Apple Valley News Now on your side. Next, E.T. The cast of Gladiator 2 takes over L.A. Plus, E.T.'s Hawaii Week takes you behind the scenes of Moana 2. And this is E.T. Vin and Nat. Next, E.T. Tonight at 7 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest. Yes, today is a first alert weather day, and it's because not only the snow, but also because of the winds. They could gust out of the south and east upwards of 55 miles per hour for today. That would mainly be up in the Cascades, but it will be blustery in the Kittitas Valley, where we could pick up maybe an inch of snow. There are definitely some other forecasts out there that are going with more. We're being a little bit more conservative with it. Then in the Yakima Valley, these winds could gust out of the south and southeast upwards of 30 miles per hour. We could pick up 
probably less than an inch of snow in the Yakima Valley if we see any flakes flying at all. These high temperatures are in the low to mid 40s. Then in the lower Columbia Basin, can't rule out like a snowflake or two mixing in, but I'm thinking it's mostly just going to be a cold rain for today. These winds gusting out of the south and southeast upwards of 25 miles per hour. Definitely the strongest wind gust, at least for tonight, are going to be in the blue foothills and blue mountains. They could gust upwards of 60, 65 miles per hour. During the daytime, though, they'll gust upwards of 40 miles per hour. These highs in the mid to upper 40s, albeit a little bit colder up in the higher terrain of the Blue Mountains. Now let's talk about the big picture. This is one of my favorite things to talk about because it is some good news to pass along. So here are the rainfall deficits and surpluses that we're expecting before and after the storm. So we're thinking 25 to 65 percent improvements for the valleys flipping to a surplus for the Yakima Valley, 15 percent improvements for the basin flipping to a surplus in Hermiston, expanding our surplus in the Tri-Cities, only about a 5 percent improvement for the foothills, still in a deficit. And then in terms of our snowpack, 30 percent improvements for the upper Yakima Basin, we're going to double up our surplus in the Natchez Basin and then about 10 to 25 percent improvements for the Walla Walla and Umatilla Basin. So lots of good news and I'll actually put a number to how much rain and snow we're expecting from the storm system and that's going to be coming up in a few minutes. The Kraken Game of the Week sponsored by Yakima Federal. The Seattle Kraken ran into a roadblock with the New York Rangers, a team they've not beaten before. Although they got shut out, they've got two tough games this week, and one of those opponents is the Los Angeles Kings. The Kraken and Kings played 11 games against each other. Their record all-time against the Monsters of the Deep is 5-5-1. The Kraken have been led by Jared McCann, who has 21 points on the year with 9 goals and 9 assists. The Kraken are sitting in sixth place behind second place LA and Seattle and LA face off on Saturday at Climate Pledge Arena and you can catch that game on our Meet TV channel at 630. And to see more on the game of the week, visit our website and check out Dan Hansen's article. In more sports news, the Tri-City Americans road trip is off to a rocky start as the team snapped their 12 game winning streak. Now the Ams started the road trip visiting the Prince Albert Raiders and the Ams didn't go down without a fight as they battled back from a 2-0 deficit to take the lead 3-2 in the third period, but the Raiders eventually won 5-3. The next night, the Americans tried to start a new streak against the Saskatoon Blades, but the Blades won 2-1. The Ams look to get back on track as they travel to Swift Current today to take on the Broncos. Up next on Good Morning Northwest, a new study finds that one in five Americans get their news not from journalists, but from social media influencers. Coming up in your morning sprint, we have what the Pew Research found exactly and why it's a concern. And we'll have more of your top stories, but first our Chief Meteorologist Josh Colbert will have your first alert full weather forecast. There was a time when you could get a complete meal for just $5, but you gotta go way back. Well, just a Tuesday. Yes, Tuesdays at AW, single Papa Burger combos complete with fries and a root beer cost just five bucks. This all time great deal is available Tuesdays only at AW. From Apple Valley News Now, this is Medically Speaking. Here at the clinic, we stay up to date on the latest research and we offer cutting edge therapies. We treat a number of different conditions, uh, specifically Parkinson's disease, stroke recovery, traumatic brain injury, fibromyalgia, diabetes. We also treat folks dealing with cognitive decline due to aging. We all have dreams and ideas about how life is going to be, and then life happens, and it's not necessarily what we pictured. So how do we deal with that? So I've lived with multiple sclerosis for years. It's realizing that it's all one system. How do you reset your goals so that you can live a happy, healthy life even with chronic illness? And I can attest, yes, you can. My life is incredibly happy. We first start by improving oxygen utilization in the cells because healthy cells are well oxygenated. We then work towards improving areas of the brain that are inefficient, and for this we use a number of different modalities. We offer oxygen contrast therapy, hyperbaric oxygen therapy, transcranial photobiomodulation, and our latest addition, brain high intensity interval training. We also build a schedule for the patient that makes it easy to adapt their game plan to their lives and the therapies they do inside the clinic. To get started, call 509-783-5465 and schedule an appointment with a client advocate today. The holiday 
holidays. So and holiday trips. And holiday toys. And holiday bonding. And it all comes together in a Chevrolet. Find your red tag. Get 1.9% financing on all 2024 Silverado 1500 pickups. Plus, get 37.50 total value on this Silverado when you trade in an eligible vehicle. See your community Chevy dealers. These are real people seeking solutions to real pain. I have plantar fasciitis. My feet, my knees, knees, hips, and back. And then they were fit with Good Feet Arch Supports. Clinically proven. Significant pain relief in only four weeks. I'm not feeling any pain. My heel, that's where I always feel it. Pressure off your knees? Yeah, actually. I didn't notice any pain in my back. I feel like I could walk all day in these. Take back the life you love and book your personalized art support fitting today. KFC's fan favorite country fried steak is just $5.99 every Wednesday. It's a complete meal with your favorite sides. Best of all, it's just $5.99. Country fried steak, $5.99, Wednesdays only at KFC. Judy Justice. And I'm just getting started. Today at 4 on Apple Valley News Now. Welcome back to Good Morning Northwest on this first alert weather day. We are tracking some snow showers this morning up in the Blue Mountains. Snow levels around 1,000 feet for this morning. They'll be raising up to 1,500 feet a little bit later in the day. So we'll show you today with future casts. This area of snow looks like it's going to peter out later this morning. And then we're tracking that atmospheric river, of course. This is going to be the main event, this big blast of rain and snow that's going to arrive in the Cascades around 4 p.m., 5 p.m. And then after that, it is going to be game on. It's going to be wild widespread rain and snow by the time we get to midnight and then this will continue into Wednesday. Now it looks like we'll trend a little bit drier for Wednesday at times, but still there's going to be this constant onslaught of moisture working through our area. Will be a little bit less snow for tomorrow as the snow levels will be a little bit higher. But before we talk about the snow, let's talk about one of the biggest impacts from this storm system. That's going to be in the form of some very strong wind gusts, gusting upwards of 60 to 65 miles per hour for the mountains and for the foothills. So that's where we're expecting maybe some power outages, maybe some down trees, and you combine the winds with the snow up in the mountains, we could have some blizzard light conditions specifically up in the Cascades. More on that in a second, but first some of the water outputs that we're expecting over the next 48 hours, maybe an inch for the Cascades between a quarter to three quarters of an inch for the valleys, anywhere between a tenth to a quarter of an inch for the basin and for the blue foothills and mountains. Snow levels this morning around 1,000 feet, so Yakima, Walla Walla, Pendleton could see some flurries flying, but again, by the time we see the arrival of the atmospheric river, snow level is going to be around 1,500 feet, and they'll double up as we head into Wednesday between 3,000 to 4,000 feet. So let's take a look at some of the snowfall totals we're expecting over the next 48 hours. This is subject to change, but we're thinking for Stevens Pass and Snoqualmie Pass, 6 to 12 inches. For Blewett Pass and Sadus Pass, 4 to 8 inches. Then for White Pass, 12 to 18 inches. Here's a conservative estimation for the Kittitas Valley. We're going to go with less than an inch. A couple inches for Manistash Ridge, less than an inch for the Yakima Valley, probably less than an inch for Meacham and Cabbage Hill, 2 to 3 inches for Tollgate at Oregon 204. We have more storms systems to go. Another one into Thursday and Friday. This one is looking like it's going to be a very wet storm system. Not as wintry though as as the cold air isn't going to sink up as well with the moisture. So not as we're, we're not expecting as much snow. That's the bottom line for that. And, and we'll have more storm systems as we head into Saturday and Sunday. Here's the seven day forecast for the Tri Cities. Lots of cold rain over the next week, and it looks like the wettest days will be Thursday and Friday in Yakima. Maybe some snow mixing in this morning, but accumulation should be less than an inch in Ellensburg. Snow this morning and afternoon transitions to rain by this evening. Maybe another chance for snow next Monday. Then in Hermiston, cool and damp for the foreseeable future. Likely the wettest days will be Thursday and Friday. Then for Walla Walla, damaging winds will be the main concern today and tomorrow. Then more wet and cold weather is on the way. Now let's head out to New York City to see what's ahead on Good Morning America. In this morning's GMA First Look, caught on camera rescue. It's getting really hot in here. I can't get out. My ankle's broke. I can't get out of my truck. Get me out of here. Dramatic body camera footage obtained by ABC affiliate WSYX, capturing police pulling a man from his burning pickup truck. Oh, come on, Randy. Stay with me, man. A man identifying himself as Randy, first calling 911 with brake trouble outside Columbus, Ohio, Wednesday morning. I can't get it to slow down. Among the first on the 
scene, Officer Gloria West, who's only been on the force for a year. I'm not going to leave him in there. Other officers helping her get him to safety just before the car explodes. This man was on fire. He would 100% had not have lived if they did not take the action they took. Coming up at 7 a.m., we'll have much more on this dramatic rescue. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. When your child has moderate to severe eczema, it's okay for them to show off. Show off their clearer skin and noticeably less itch with Dupixent. Because children six months and older with eczema have plenty of reasons to show off their skin. With Dupixent, the number one prescribed biologic by dermatologists and allergists, they can stay ahead of their eczema. It helps block a key source of inflammation inside the body that can cause eczema to help heal your child's skin from within. Severe allergic reactions can occur. Get help right away for face, mouth, tongue, or throat swelling, wheezing, or trouble breathing. Tell your doctor of new or worsening eye problems like eye pain, vision changes, or blurred vision, joint aches and pain, or a parasitic infection. Don't change or stop asthma or other medicines without talking to your doctor. Show off to the world. Ask your child's eczema specialist about Dupixent. Now, the morning sprint. Time is now 6.50. It's time for your 6 o'clock morning sprint. We're going to start off with your national headlines. President-elect Donald Trump is expected to attend the SpaceX Starship launch today. The company hopes to repeat last month's successful catch of the Super Heavy booster on its way back down. Trump's attendance is a sign of his close relationship with Elon Musk after the SpaceX owner donated millions to his campaign. Space exploration might be at a crucial point right now as there is potentially dangerous leaking on the ISS. NASA says the leaks were first identified in 2019, but now they're bleeding air faster. French President Emmanuel Macron is set to invite Trump to visit Paris in February, and Elon Musk is also on the guest list. The invite is in con uh, conjunction with the summit that Macron is hosting on artificial intelligence. This two-day action summit on AI will take place on February 10th and 11th. In your business news, Spirit Airlines has filed for bankruptcy, but guests can continue to book and fly as normal. And because of the filing, the company expects its common stock to be canceled and have no value. Spirit was left with little options as it faced many losses and $3.1 billion in long-term debt. It's possible Spirit can emerge stronger on the other side, but it could also end up being bought by another airline or be forced to liquidate. Tropicana recently redesigned its bottle, ditching its clear plastic bottles, replacing them with more traditional-looking plastic bottles, and the sales plunged almost immediately by 19 percent after putting the new bottles on shelves. The redesign included downsizing the bottle by six ounces, and prices on the new bottle are supposed to be low, uh, lower, but not all stores are following the price recommendation, and this is leading to complaints of shrinkflation. And women are outpacing men in getting bachelor's degrees. That's according to the Pew Research Center. It's true in every major racial and ethnic, uh, ethnic group, although the size of the gap varies widely. Back in 1995, 25% of both young men and women held a bachelor's degree. Now 47% of American women ages 25 to 34 have a bachelor's, and only 37% of men do. Another new study by the Pew Research Center finds around a fifth of Americans get their news from social media influencers, with nearly 40 percent of people under the age of 30 saying they get the information from independent figures. And this is problematic because it makes it easier for misinformation to spread. Most established media brands have strict editorial standards and employ trained journalists, making it less likely to distribute misinformation. And the study also found the biggest platform for influencers is X, followed by Instagram and then YouTube. In some sports news, two former Seattle Mariners are on this year's MLB Hall of Fame ballot. Outfielder Ichiro Suzuki and pitcher Felix Hernandez are among 14 new candidates. Suzuki was a two-time AL batting champion and 10-time Gold Glove winner. Hernandez Who finished his career with, with more than 2,500 strikeouts, and the inductees will be announced in January. 
Now we go to your top five local stories that you need to know this morning. Richland PD is investigating the case of the man who was shot and killed in the Uptown Shopping Center. This was just after 4 a.m. on Saturday. RPD responded to the scene and found 36 year old Michael Perkins who died at the scene. Witnesses say Perkins had a confrontation with another man who pulled out a gun and shot him several times. Police have not made any arrests in the case so far. The Street Crimes Unit and Investigation Team are reviewing video footage and contacting witnesses. And you can contact RPD if you know anything about this. The City of Pasco is celebrating the completion of its Zone 3 water storage reservoir. This project is designed to offer reliable drinking water for city residents. And to celebrate, there will be a ribbon cutting ceremony today at 1 p.m. It's at 6701 Road 90 and the public is invited to come and take a look at the new facility. And the city of Pasco is sending out letters to residents notifying them that their home contains pipes made out of an unknown material. The concern being lead pipes, although this letter does not necessarily mean your home has lead pipes. It's a new EPA regulation where cities must identify each type of pipe used in lines connecting water mains to individual buildings. On the city of Pasco's website, you can type your address to see the status of your pipes and you can find that link on our website as well as other resources. Richland Fire and Emergency Services is set to receive the American Heart Association's Mission Lifeline EMS Gold Achievement Award. And this is for its work in offering rapid care for people suffering a heart attack and or stroke. Catholic Regional Medical Center will also receive an award today. The AHA's uh, Get With The Guidelines Stroke Gold Plus Quality Achievement Award. And this is their second year getting this award. The ceremony will be at 11 this morning at Richland Fire Station 74. And the city of Richland says businesses in the area near Dallas Road and Trowbridge Boulevard will be without power for about 10 hours tonight. This is to allow crews to perform a power conduit crossing in the area. It starts at 8 p.m. and can continue into overnight hours if needed. All right, trending this morning, it takes guts or maybe just sheer stupidity to break into the royal family's property. A theft happened at Windsor Castle back on October 13th. The property is home to one of King Charles and Queen Camilla's residences, but they weren't there at the time. However, Prince William and his family live in a house on the sprawling grounds and they probably were home. So two masked thieves scaled a fence and got into a farm building. They stole a pickup truck and a four wheeler. No arrest have been made so far. And the royal family has not commented on this because they do not comment on security matters. Yeah, I think he's just being a little dummy. A couple comments a on that. Yeah. First of all, I think it's hilarious that there's a four wheeler at yeah. Windsor Castle. That's really funny to me. And what do you think they said? We've been burgled. <laughs> do you think that's what they said? I think it is. We've been burgled. Okay. Here we go. Let's go ahead and <laughs> let's do a rapid fire of the weather because we have a lot to talk about. We have some snow showers in the Blue Mountains for right now. Looks like those are starting to fade away. So you could say we're starting to get into the calm before the storm. It's definitely the cold before the storm as we're seeing temperatures in the 30s and 40s. Everyone needs to bundle up for this morning. Look at this wind gusts starting to get a little bit stronger now gusting upwards of 25 miles per hour in Walla Walla. But from 10 a.m. this morning to 10 a.m. tomorrow morning, those winds could gust between 60 to 65 miles per hour in the Cascades in the Blue Foothills and in the Blue Mountains and the snow. Yeah, it's going to be there in the Cascades. Great rapid fire, Josh. And thank you guys for watching Good Morning Northwest. You can always find updates on our website, applevalleynewsnow.com. Good Morning America is up next, and we'll be back with your local news and weather tonight at 5. Have a great day. Ooh.